Welcome to Electron Online. Now that we know how to find the integrating factor, at least in this particular case, now we're going to show you how to use that integrating factor to find the actual solution to the, dif to the differential equation. So we found in the last, in the previous video, that the integrating factor was y divided by x. So we're going to multiply both sides of the equation by the integrating factor. When we do that, we get the following equation. So here the x cancels out, we get y cubed plus uh, 4x to the first power, y squared, quantity, times dx, plus, here we get, uh, let's see, 3x to the first power, y squared, plus, here we get 4, that would be x squared times y, and the quantity times dy, and that's equal to 0. Now, we've already shown you two videos ago that this was now an exact equation. We could solve it. Remember that this is going to be in the format, the left side is going to be in the format in terms of du is equal to the partial of u with respect to x times dx plus the partial of u with respect to y times dy. And then we can see that the, the partial of u with respect to x is equal to this, the partial of u with respect to y is equal to this. So to find u, what we can do, and then of course also realize that this is in the format, this is in the format that m times uh, dx plus n times dy is equal to 0. So combining those two, realizing that the partial of u with respect to x is equal to m, and the partial of u with respect to y is equal to n, it's just a different format. So we can say that the partial of u with respect to x is equal to m, and since m is equal to this quantity right there, so this is equal to y cubed plus 4x squared, oops, xy squared, got to be careful here, xy squared. We can therefore say that the partial of u is therefore equal to this quantity, y cubed plus 4xy squared times the partial of x, which means if we now integrate both sides, we get u is equal to the integral of the quantity y cubed plus 4xy squared times the partial of x, plus a function of y. The reason why we have to write that is because in this case, when we integrate it, remember that the variable here is x and the constant is y, which means when we integrate, we will end up with a constant, which could be a function of y, because in this case, y is the constant. All right, let's go ahead and integrate and see what we get. So now we can say that u is equal to Remember, y is a constant. This would be y cubed times x. That would be y cubed times x. Plus, here we'll add 4x squared divided by 2 because x is the, the uh, variable. So we have 4x squared divided by 2 divided by the new exponent times y squared plus some function of y. All right, simplifying this, we can now say that u is equal to y cubed plus 2 goes into 4 2 times 2x squared y squared plus some function of y and of course at this point we don't know yet what the function of y is equal to now one of the ways in which we can figure that out is to do that again but now go ahead and take this quantity right here we can say that the partial of u with respect to y is equal to n and of course n in this case is equal to this quantity right here which is equal to 3 xy squared plus 4x squared y, which means that u is equal to um, the integral of this quantity, which would be 3xy squared plus 4x squared y times the partial with respect to y plus some function of x. Remember, in this case, x is going to be the constant, and so therefore when we integrate, we could end up with a constant of integration, which is actually a function of x. So when we integrate that, remembering that y is the variable, we can say that u is equal to, uh, y is the variable, so this becomes 3x, uh, oh, y is the variable, so 3x times y cubed over 3 plus 4x squared y squared over 2, so the 3's cancel out, and this 2 makes that a 2 right there. Don't forget, we have some function of x. Now, here's another expression for, for u. Let me go ahead and circle that. And of course, 
those two must be equal to each other. So let's set those equal to each other, and that will allow us, hopefully, to solve for the function of y and the function of x. So let's do that. So we have, in this case, we have y cubed plus 2x squared y squared plus some function of y, which at this point is unknown, must be equal to, uh, let's say here, that would be xy cubed. Am I doing something wrong here? Oh, I forgot my x again. Ah, I keep doing that. This x is still there, so therefore I have an x right there. I noticed that because they were supposed to be equal and they weren't equal, so I noticed something was wrong. So we have an x y cubed uh, plus, and here we have 2x squared y squared, 2x squared y squared plus, and then we have a function of x. All right, now let's take a look at those. Notice we have an xy cubed and an xy cubed, they're equal. We have a 2x squared y squared and a 2x squared y squared, they are equal, which means the function of y has to equal the function of x, and so therefore that means they can only be constants. So in other words, the function of y can only be a constant, the function of x can only be a constant, which means that u therefore must equal xy cubed plus 2x squared y squared plus some constant of integration, and so now we have that as u. Now also remember when we go back to the equation right here, when we multiply times integrating factor, that this can also be considered to be du, which is equal to zero, therefore u must equal some constant. So if we replace u by a constant, we can say that a constant, let's call it c2, is equal to xy cubed, plus 2x squared y squared, plus the constant of integration from there. Combining the two constants, we can finally write that the solution to the differential equation can be written as xy cubed plus 2x squared y squared equals some constant combining c1 and c2, and we get c. And that's then ultimately the solution to the differential equation. So, summarizing, we start out with the differential equations, which we showed was not exact. We then realized we had to multiply this times a integrating factor. Integrating factor can take the general form x to the m, y to the n power. In the previous video, we showed you how to find that integrating factor. We found it to be y over x. So when we multiply both sides of the differential equation by y over x, we now end up with an equation which is now exact. In one of the previous videos, we showed you that this was now an exact equation. We then go ahead, in this video, showed you how to find the solution of that exact equation. And so now you know that if you have an equation that's not exact, you can make an exact by multiplying times the integrating factor, making sure that it's now an exact equation, and then use the normal technique to find the solution to the dif differential equation. And that's how it's done.